Welcome back. Amanda Manhole joining us from London Drugs. Great to have you back on the show today. Thanks. Always happy to be here. Yeah, thank you. We are uh, talking about a, a topic that I think a lot of people as women we run into. How long do we keep our makeup? Uh, it's easy to keep certain things around longer than you probably should. Mascara, top of my list. Ugh. Okay, so I thought this time of year I'm always like, what can I throw out? What can I freshen up in my house? And it, really, your makeup, it needs to be done. So it I does. actually just brought some of the stuff that I use every day and I'm, I'm kind of ashamed, so. Really? It's me too, it's, yeah. it's everybody. We just kind of hang on to things and think, oh, yeah. nah, it's okay. It's fine. Yeah. And you know what, the truth is this, and I'm just gonna be willing to share this uh, on television today, but I remember going to a store about a year ago where everything was on sale because it was closing out and I bought some makeup, which I think had been sitting on the shelf for a while. I ended up breaking out in a rash all over my face, these little dots everywhere and on my my, my throat, I had to be on that day and the next day and the day after that. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to cover that up, but it was a full makeup rash. Yeah. And I had to go and get special meds to take it away. So you know what, that's, I mean, it's that sort of the severe part of it, but you need to be aware of how long, how old your makeup is. Yeah, you really do. And it, it's not just the fact that you may actually have a reaction or there's bacteria in that product that can upset your skin, but it's also, you're not getting the performance out of the product anymore. Yeah. Um, so yes, we mentioned mascara, absolutely the worst offender. Mm -hmm. um, Mascara, three months, people. Three months. Three That's months. max from the first time you use it. And I don't care if you wear it every day or if you only wear it once a week. At that point, it's a nice, wet, dark, moist environment, and it can really harbor and grow bacteria quite quickly. Right. So your eye doctor will agree with me, I'm quite sure. They probably don't want you to wear any makeup, but exactly. uh, three months, you got to chuck it. Um, one of the things you can do is if there's a mascara that you buy all the time, um, actually smell it, right? You'll know what it's supposed to smell like when it's new. So scent is often a good way to know if it's also getting near the end of its life. So if sure. you kind of can't remember when you bought it, um, you'll know when it doesn't smell right. Yes. And that is just a, a telltale sign. So if it's gloopy, if it doesn't smell quite right, or if your products are separating, just pitch them. Yes. So your mascara, your liquid eyeliners, those sort of things, three months three is months. what you're looking okay. at. You good. really want to chuck them out. Good to know. Um, when you're into sort of the uh, one year category, we're talking about lipsticks. And I shudder to think how old some of my lipsticks are. I know. Because we just keep them there, like our collection, yeah. right? The, they grow and get bigger and you feel proud. You don't want to throw those out. Yeah. You love all of them. No, really, a year and, and they've had their useful life. Okay. And again, we're talking about performance, not just, you know, cleanliness and sanitization. Sure. Okay. So those are your creamy products. So your concealers, your liquid makeups, they're going to be about 12 months. Okay. Um, you can get a little bit more time uh, with your... Um, Lip gloss, they're saying 18 to 24 months. Okay. Uh, and then the powdery products, so your eyeshadows, your blushes, your powders, those sort of things, and your pencils, you can get about two years. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Have you seen people break out in weird things like the story I told you from people who have just used them too long and come and have talked to you about it? Like, uh, not so much that. I, I tend to not try and... Uh, pinpoint what it is that's causing mm -hmm. their reaction when they come in to see me I just try and find something to soothe their skin absolutely but yeah it's quite possible the other thing to be aware of is when you're buying products um, they have little indicators on them okay and they're very teeny tiny but what you can look for is a little symbol at the bottom of the box and it's got a little picture of a jar Oop, wrong corner right there mm -hmm. a little jar with an open lid and what that's telling us is 12 months so once you open this product they're saying that you want to use it up within 12 months. Okay. So that's a year to finish a moisturizer. That's pretty long that time. That is pretty good. Um, and again, it isn't necessarily that you're going to have a reaction or something like that, but you just won't be getting the, the potency and the efficacy of the product. Sure, you want so. it to be effective. Yeah, and again, sunscreens, uh, you really should, a sunscreen, you want to check the date always. Mm -hmm. It's not something where you want to go, oh, it expired six months ago, it'll be okay because I've seen people with severe burns, because what happens is, again, you lose the efficacy of the sun filter, which is the whole reason you're wearing it. So really sure. do pay attention to expiration dates. Remember to use the right amount. We talked about that on one of our other episodes. Mm -hmm. So use more than you think you need. Yes. And once it's been opened, about six months. Is that right? Yeah, so really, you should be buying a new sunscreen every season. And you see, I think a lot of people tuck away their kids' sunscreen from one year to the next and say, yeah. it's great, let's take it out to the camper or whatever, but, but it might have lost its effectiveness. Well, and the other thing too is where do you leave it? I have left mm. sunscreen in the back of the boat and mm. then I go to use it and I shake it and it's like water, so it's completely the, <laughs> yeah. it's, yeah. Good tips today, Amanda Manhold. Thank you very much for joining us. Three months on the mascara, people. Keep that in mind. I know I'm an offender of that as well. Uh, if you have questions for Amanda, you can certainly head down to London Drugs. Of course, down on Lansdowne. Information on the screen, londondrugs.com.
We're back in 90 seconds. Stay with us.